the desert of Tabas in Iran on April the 24th, 1980. This is when some American special forces landed to lead a coup against the new government of the Islamic Republic as well as head to Tehran to free Americans who were accused of spying against the Islamic Republic. <laughs> در سال 1359 به مردم ما رسید یک نفر از مردم نبود که یک ذره در دلش احساس رعب کنه تو اگزامن تنباس است سی ا مایکروکازم اف دی اسلامیک ریپبلیک اف ایران Many times in its more than three decades of history, the Islamic Republic was outspent, outmanned, and outplanned by its enemies. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as he did in Tabaz, has protected the people of Iran, sometimes even when they didn't know that they needed help themselves. <laughs> In the middle of the night and in the middle of the desert without any soldiers stopping them, the Americans landed and their whole plan came apart when a sandstorm took place. The Americans, with all their planning and calculating, could not withstand the planning of our Creator. <laughs> محترق کرد نابود کرد جسد سوخته و زغال شده آمریکایی ها مون توی اون بیابان تبر یه عده هم که زنده موندن فرصت رو و زندگی رو قلیمت شماردن در رفت خواستند حمله نظامی کنند نتونستن اگر میتوانستن ده بار دیگه هم میامدن so Tabaz should leave us with a message of relying upon Allah and having faith and endurance and being patient. Even if we don't know what we need, he does. Tabaz taught us that even if there is not one single guard assigned to parts of the Islamic Republic, the main protector is always there. And that is why they came and couldn't do anything in Tabaz. And that is why they continue to plan and continue to fail in their major plots against the Islamic Republic time and time again. And if we stay the course and have faith, none of their plans will work because as it says in the Holy Quran in Surah Ali Amran, verse 54, Allah plans and we plan and indeed he is the best of planners. So never forget, they came to Tabas, but they couldn't do a thing. nastv.com